them however you want. This is just, this is gonna be goldy, so she wanted a uh, gold accents with the red blade and everything, but you don't have to do it uh, like this. Pretty much to keep the pixel effect, as long as you have like this outer border and like some different variations of the color, it looks pixeled, but pretty much all this hilt, you can do it one solid color, you can do it a solid color with this, because it kind of looks like a gem, and then as long as you have, you know, the hilt color, the wood, or the, this is supposed to be gold, and then the bottom base, but this one's actually pretty much smaller than the average or the original one um, that I has Cupquake shows in her video right here. This is the original one, but the size is different. It's a little bit shorter, shorter, and the base is different. And that's just because it ends up being a little bit lighter, and so it's you can hold it with one hand versus mine, where it's really heavy and you kind of have to hold it with two hands just to otherwise it just kind of falls over. This has kind of been how showing how I do it. Um, the original tutorial video will be posted above for I has Cupcake. Go follow her, she posts a lot of DIY stuff. Um, we're doing a lot of 8-bit weaponry, pixel weaponry. So if there's any other like video game weapons that you kind of want to see built out of these little cubes, just leave a comment below. We have a lot planned. Um, I know Cloud's Buster Blade is on the list, the Keyblade. Um, Link's bow and arrow, and then one project that I really kind of want to figure out how to do is the portal gun, pixel style. I have to go order more cues. There's a lot of, you use a lot of cues with this. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed this, it's first time doing it. Goldie likes hers. It's a lot smaller, but I like mine. Mine's kind of classic and hers is kind of like super, super saiyan version, I don't know. Alright, like, subscribe, comment. I will see you next time. Bye.